One cool thing that's happening in the exercise physiology lab is virtual reality gaming research. Um, I'll play a really quick clip of some scenes from our lab. Uh, I am not a video editor, so these are kind of mashed together. Please bear with me. Um, but you get a sense of um, the games that we're looking at. Uh, these are all called exer games. Exer meaning exercise. And these are games where the main goal is to exercise in virtual reality. So you're not like, well, I was gonna say, you're not trying to save a princess or anything, but maybe you are. The whole point is to move your body. So here are, here's a kind of look at what some of the games look like. That is uh, boxing, which she is doing now. And you can see it um, on the screen. Um, I'll tail back and explain a little. Yeah, so this is a, a guy who's boxing and, is, and the screen is overlaid so you can see exactly what's going on. He's, um, he's pretty vicious. And now this is uh, Angelina and you can see here, I'll pause the video right here. She's boxing, there's the screen there that the researcher is watching what she's doing in VR. And then she's attached to a metabolic cart. You can see that there's something that's covering her mouth and nose. And this is also capturing the oxygen, carbon dioxide that she's breathing in, producing, and then carbon dioxide, of course, um, expelling. And it gives us a really good assessment of how many calories she's burning while she's doing the activity. So that's what these are here. Uh, what we do in our lab is we exercise people in virtual reality. And then we uh, measure exactly how many calories they're burning per minute while they're exercising. And then we rate the games. We create a rating system, which then allows consumers who purchase these video games to say like, okay, if I purchase this game, then it's like the equivalent of playing doubles tennis, right? Six to eight calories per minute. That's pretty good. If I purchase this game, this is that boxing game you were seeing, which is actually quite vigorous. If I purchase that, then I can expect to burn 10 to 13 calories, which is like a pretty moderate uh, cycling. It's the equivalent of moderate cycling. So um, that, like here's one of the stickers that we have on the games and that's sort of what we do in the VR capacity. And this question makes me think like, where is the fitness industry going, right? I mean, who thought that you know, everyone knows spin bikes exist, right? These bikes that don't go anywhere that you sit on and you spin and then you sweat and then you go home. But who would have thought people would pay thousands of dollars to get a spin bike in your house that's connected to the internet? And who would have thought that the people who teach on this platform called Peloton would become little mini celebrities themselves? So this illustrates, we don't exactly know where the fitness industry is going. Um, one of the reasons why I'm working on this VR research is because I think that VR exercise might be um, on the precipice of becoming a mainstream sought after activity. Um, what will I be doing in a few years? I don't know. If I'm as excited about the field uh, then as I am now, I don't care what I'll be doing. I think I'll be very happy.